That's not what Bob did. I made a mistake. What's up everyone and welcome back to Ross Ross. I'm Ross and this is the channel where I let Bob Ross teach me how to paint. Today I'm going to be doing Season 14, Episode 8, On a Clear Day. As always, I've got my canvas coated in liquid white and a whole bunch of colors set out, so let's just get started. First thing that Bob does today is take a good bit of titanium white and he mixes that with a tiny bit of alizarin crimson to get a nice like pink color. That looks good and we're gonna paint the sun right in the middle here. Next, Bob takes some more of that titanium white and mixes it with some cad yellow just to get a nice bright yellow color. He puts that on the outside of the sun here. Bob says it looks like the eggs that he cooked for breakfast this morning. It doesn't really look like an appetizing egg to me. Sorry, Bob. <laughs> yeah, Bob also has us put some of that at the bottom for some water reflections. Next, Bob goes into some yellow ochre. He's going to put that around this other yellow that we've got. And Bob adds a little bit of Indian yellow to his to brighten it up a little bit, but since I don't have that, I'm just going to put a little extra cad yellow in mine. Now Bob puts some of that at the bottom as well, and Bob, instead of just bringing it in from the outside this time, goes crazy and says, you can just lay this in wherever you want, any old place. I'm going to take a little bit of the bright red and mix that into some of this yellow ochre. We're going to lay in another layer up here, slightly contrasting colors. And on the other side as well. And finally, without cleaning his brush, Bob takes some phthalo blue. Actually, he takes Prussian blue, but I don't have that one and mixes it into a little bit of the Van Dyke Brown. It's a nice dark color to lay in the corners. I'm gonna take some of that and put it in the bottom corners as well. I think that's a good start to our background layer. Here Bob has us blending this, so he's got a clean, dry brush, and he just does little X motions.
This next technique is always one of my favorites. It's the Bob Ross finger painting technique. So he just takes a bit of titanium white right on his finger. Puts it in the middle of the sun here. Now Bob Ross does a thing here that I've never done before. He takes his palette knife and just swoops it across this to get this white to blend on the sun, but I'm not so sure about that. We'll see how this goes and then maybe I'll have to fix it. I guess that was kind of cool. Said you could do it as many times as you want to get the desired value. Not sure I have that palette knife technique down quite right, so I'm just gonna redo that real quick. And to finish this off, Bob just gives the bottom a nice slow swoop as well. For our next color, I'm going to mix some white, some crimson, and some phthalo blue. We're going to make a purple color. Load up a fan brush with that. Here we're gonna make some floaters in the sky. And a couple more over here. Bob's got a couple more little whispers, just kind of in the back here. And Bob's just going to gently fluff those out. Now, I must have done something pretty wrong because Bob said don't use any blue in these clouds, which I just made that like purpley color with the blue. He was like, don't use that unless you want your clouds to turn green because there's yellow in the sky. But luckily, it looks like our clouds stayed purple, so dodged a bullet there. I'm gonna make a different kind of lavender using crimson and the blue using much more crimson than blue Bob says. And this mountain's gonna go across the whole painting so see what we can lay in. Bob's going to take a clean, dry brush and just pull all that paint down to blend it. And 
Next, we're gonna highlight these mountains. So I'm gonna take my palette knife and some titanium white. Nice thin roll. We're gonna highlight these mountains. And like Bob always says, just wanna whisper it across the mountains. Barely touch it. Next, I'm gonna take some of that titanium white and mix it with just a bit of phthalo blue. And that's gonna be our shadow color. Now I'm going to just blend this by tapping the brush. Alright, I'd say so far those are some of the better mountains I've done. Now Bob shows us how to add another little plane onto our mountain, which I think is cool. I haven't done that before. And he just takes some of our shadow color, pats it in here. Not sure I like that as much. Nancy and over blending it. <sighs> Just gonna pull some of that color off. Start again. I think that looks a little better. Now I'm gonna take my fan brush and lay in some foothills. Bob actually uses a normal brush, but he said to use whichever brush you like best. So here we go. And Bob puts another one right in front of it as well. That's not what Bob did. I made a mistake. Bob did put more foothills in front, but they were like directly in front. And this stuff was kind of supposed to be reflections. Let's see if we can fix this. Okay, so those are supposed to be reflections, and now Bob takes some liquid white mixed with titanium white and makes a water line.
And then we also do some just random little things in the water happening. Well, during that little break I just took, uh, it looks like I broke my palette knife. Oops. <laughs> uh, we'll see if I can still use it somehow for the rest of this episode. Well, we'll need to to mix some color anyway. So I've made a deep lavender and I'm gonna get that on my fan brush. We're gonna lay in some evergreens here. Bob starts with one guy. Sure, right there. That's where he lives now. You know Bob's trees always get a friend, so he's gonna get another one right about here. And they're gonna get some land. And Bob also gives these some reflections. Now I take my big brush and we're just gonna pull this down. Next I'm going to take a little bit of white and some crimson, might not do the crimson, I'm thinking just white. We're going to highlight this stuff. And a little bit more for our trees. Bob also just kind of uses the same tool and makes a little water line on here. I'm gonna put some midnight black into our purpley red color. Bob said mostly midnight black. We're just gonna use our same old fan brush and get that loaded up. We're gonna put another big evergreen on this side. And of course that guy's gonna get a friend. And we're also going to throw a couple of big guys on the other side.
I'm gonna get some of that color on my regular brush. And I'm gonna put some bushes in here. Bob takes a little bit of his white and mixes it with some dark sienna, burnt sienna, one of those. He uses this to make the trunks of the trees and just kind of pushes that color in. Alright, out of all of those, I think that's the only one that I actually like. Next, I'm going to take my fan brush and some of the titanium white. We're just going to highlight these a little bit. Maybe I'll get a little blue in there too. Alright, that white didn't stick at all, so I'm going to get some turpentine, paint thinner, and we're going to thin that out a bit to try and get it to stick. Although now it looks all muddy, so that's awesome. Alright, I wasn't really happy with how all that stuff turned out there at the bottom, so I covered it up and I'm going to do it again. And Bob takes his palette knife. Gets a little bit of that liquid white. Gives us another water line here. And one more over here. And with that, I think we have a finished painting. My hands are dirty, I used way too much paint, but I think that this one came out awesome. Well, let's not forget to sign my name. And there we have a finished painting. 
This one sure threw me some problems. Uh, some of these colors I was having trouble keeping kind of separate and its own thing. I did the clouds slightly the wrong color and I messed up the background uh, those trees that are right in front of the mountains but I was able to fix all of it and I am really happy with how it came out I think that the sky looks really pretty I was able to keep it nice and light the mountains look pretty cool my trees are actually kind of separate now so awesome thanks Bob if you guys enjoyed this video don't forget to like and comment and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time